Hello once again to all my friends out in YouTube land. This is Crom to One, down in the basement once again with my friend Mo. And I just want to thank you all for subscribing. I'm over 100 subscribers. Mo's all excited. You can just tell, look at his face, see how excited he is. Well, I'm excited anyways. And I want to do a raffle. I've got th uh, three different uh, draws, first, second, and third place. And I'd like to show you the prizes, and then I'll tell you the rules. For third place, let's get these over here. I've got some comics. Batman Legends of the Dark Knight number one with the orange cover. These variant covers from 1989. Also got What If Wolverine number seven. It's from 1989. And it's a great, great Rob Liefeld cover. I love the cover. And each and every one of the comics that I've picked are actually stories that I really enjoy. I bought quite a few doubles because I like so many different issues. I think it's great when you love an issue, buy extra copies. And I bought extra copies of these ones. Uh, I got Wolverine number 25. It is probably my favorite Wolverine issue, or second favorite after number one. But it's the issue where he is a kid, and you see him back, uh, you know, with the Wolverines on the cover. It's a great cover. I think it's a very undervalued comic, and it's a great read. Spider-Man number one, McFarlane, the silver cover. Beautiful cover. The artwork from Todd McFarlane is always awesome. And if you don't have a copy of this one, I'd be glad to give you one. Just all you do is win the draw. Got some extra prizes as well. I've got What If the Punisher's Family Hadn't Been Killed from 1990, number 10. Just another What If comic. I thought, thought I'd throw it in. be a nice extra prize. And I've also got X-Force, number one in a bag and you get a free trading card with it it's the cable card you can see that a little bit of glare cable is a great character who was introduced originally in the New Mutants so that's X-Force number one that's for third place now the thing that I'm doing is everybody who is the first, second, third are going to get s similar comics you're going to get Legend of the Dark Knight The What If 7 Wolverine 25 and the Silver Spider-Man. That's going for all three places. And the comic's going to be slightly different, though, for second and uh, first. So I've got Captain America 288. I threw this in because I've got a few copies of this, and it's an awesome, awesome story. It's actually set in the future, 1993, considering the comic was written in 1983. But it's got a really good uh, Deathlock. You see Deathlock? It's one of the best stories I've ever read about Deathlock, and I think you'd enjoy it. Also got Uncanny X-Men, number 245, also from 1990. This is a hilarious story. It's one of the times they just did a humorous bent. If you read the covers, it's Colossus saying, Oh, we're surrounded by hostile aliens. And Wolverine is, Be a shame if something bad happens to my nice new jacket. you got to love Wolverine. So that's part of the second place. Also, Action Comics, number 662. And this is the issue where Clark Kent reveals himself to be Superman to Lois Lane. So that's, that's a good key issue. It's a nice issue to have. And also, finally, for second place, I've got Gotham by Gaslight. It's a trade paperback, first print. And it's, what if Batman was in Queen Victoria's time, in Victorian times? And it's a great story. So that's for prize uh, number two for second place. Okay, now for first place. For the prizes, if you get first place, we're also going to have the same four issues. These are all great reads. Now, the difference is you're going to have Spectacular Spider-Man number 158 from 1989. This is where he first gets the cosmic power. Great issue. I really, really like this issue. And it ran over all the titles of, of Spider-Man at the time, Web and Amazing Spider-Man as well. I've also got some Incredible Hulks. I actually got a nice little run. Countdown. It's a little mini-series. 4321. Number fourth one is The Abomination. And it counts down to three. The Thing. Great battle covers here. Number 366 here. They go from 364 to 367 where he fights the leader, and the fourth one. 
the madman. I believe in these ones, Hulk is poisoned. And he's trying to get healed before his time runs out. Now, the, the really great thing about this issue, it's the first Dale Cowan work on Incredible Hulk. If I said that right, I'm not sure. But he had a great run with Incredible Hulk, and this is his first time doing the artwork for Incredible Hulk, so that's a real key issue. Now, I also go with 367. I've got 368 with an awesome Sam Keith cover and art. And if you don't know Sam Keith, he created the, the Max for Image Comics, and he did a one-shot for Incredible Hulk, and it's phenomenal artwork. You're really, really going to like the story. It's a great battle issue as well. And I just wanted to put that one in because it's such a good issue. Now, since kind of got a few Hulks going here, and Spider-Man, this is pretty well my favorite Amazing Spider-Man comic. Number 328, where uh, Spider-Man has a fight with the Incredible Hulk. And just to give you a little hint, Spider-Man's winning the fight. Now, who's the strongest one there is? It's an awesome issue, and it's a key issue because it's the final Todd McFarlane issue that he did on The Amazing Spider-Man. So, it's, it's a great comic. It, it's a really good one to have in your collection, and it's also, once again, a great cover. Now, my final comic that I have here is a really another nice key issue. It's Jim Lee. It's a Candy X-Men number 268, and it goes back to the first time that Wolverine, Captain America, and Black Widow fought together. It says, together again for the first time. And it is a great issue. Nice cover. Great Jim Lee art. Great issue. You can't beat that. Now, I also want to throw in for first place uh, a book. And this book is Serial Adventures. It's one I've actually shown before on one of my previous videos, I have a double of this book. So I thought, you know, this is a great book on, on superheroes in the old movies. And I'm just going to show you some of the pictures here. It's a great issue. It's got full of history. Full of, you know, what the movies were like before. Nice Superman poster for the original Superman serial, Kirk Allen, the original Superman. And I just think you would love this book. If you like history, you like the history of superheroes, this is a great book to have in your collection. So Serial Adventures, the original Billy Batson. Serial Adventures, it's a great, great book. It's the incredible story of the superheroes of the silver screen. So this is your first prize. So I just want you all to say, I want to say thank you again. and. It's going to give you the rules now for entering the contest. Now what I'm going to do is have a draw in a couple of weeks. And to enter, you've got to be a subscriber. You also need to comment on, on this video. And I'd also like, if, if you want to be entered twice, just put in a little comment about one of my previous videos and uh, about one of the comics that I had in a video. Just tell me a little bit about it, about what you like about it, and I'll enter your name twice. And I also want you to know, you can't win twice. If I pick your name twice, you just, I'll upgrade you to a higher spot. So this is Crom to One and Mo saying thank you once again for subscribing, for all your encouragement. I really love being part of the YouTube comic worldwide community. And just want to say thanks again for me and Mo for stopping by. Have a great day. I'll see you soon.